The Atari Lynx is a handheld that came out in 1989 to rival the Nintendo Game Boy and Sega Game Gear. But the Atari Lynx was bulky, consumed several AA batteries, and had a washed out backlit screen. And by the end of its 5 year lifespan it only had 71 official games for it. The games ranged from unique titles to almost arcade perfect ports at a time where it was a dream to have those even on home console. So with only 71 games to collect, why get a game drive? Well, two words, homebrew. Despite its abysmal performance on the consumer market, the Atari Lynx is home to over 100 unique homebrew titles and it's growing. While you can buy a handful of them physically, most of them are playable only digitally via emulation, so while you could play them on an Atari Lynx emulator on your PC, you could play them the way that they were meant to be played on an actual Atari Lynx, with the Atari Lynx Game Drive by Retro HQ. Retailing for $100 ship from AtariAge.com, the game drive for the Atari Lynx offers a simple all-in-one solution for playing homebrew games and backups on an official Atari Lynx. The game drive ships in a generic box packaged in a static resistance baggie along with a brochure-like instruction manual for use. When you first get your game drive, you'll need to update the firmware, and this is done by scanning the QR code displayed on the screen when you first boot up the game drive. Once you download the file, simply drop it into the root folder of a FAT32 formatted micro SD card and put it back into the game drive. And then you first boot up the game drive again, it will prompt you to update the firmware. After that's updated, the game drive is ready for use. The menu system is a bit archaic, but it does the job. Given the resolution of the Atari Lynx screen, you can't really be too picky. It lists off the games, but you can add preview images of ROMs that are available on the Atari Age forums, making it a bit easier to determine what game you want to play, especially if you aren't familiar with the Atari Lynx library. If available, there are game cheats like infinite lives and one hit boss kills that you can choose to apply to games before you even begin, or you can just play the game like normal. The games themselves boot up pretty quick, it's not like they're super large anyway. The biggest titles are 512 KB which is all the game drive can support, but the entire library is 16 megs total. There aren't any known issues with any games either, so you'll have no problems loading any game that you want provided it works for the Atari Lynx in the first place. The game cartridge itself is pretty premium feeling and it should be for $100. It has a nice shiny Retro HQ label on the front that doesn't look like it's going anywhere and the back has a textured feel almost like felt. It definitely doesn't feel like an original Atari Lynx cartridge which is good because the Atari Lynx cartridges, they're kind of cheap and plasticky. The back also has a recessed Lynx logo which makes it look a little bit more legit. The original cartridges just had a raised Atari Fuji logo on the back. And the game drive is twice as thick as the original cartridges but it's not really saying much. The Atari Lynx cartridges were very compact to begin with, about the size of two credit cards. The game drive fits snugly into the Atari Lynx too and I don't have a first gen model but the guide does say that it's compatible. Another cool feature is that the micro SD slot is located on the top of the game drive so if you wanted you can leave the game drive in the links and only pop out the micro SD card leaving the cartridge slot protected from any dust or grime. Overall the game drive for the Atari Lynx from Retro HQ is worth the $100. There are a handful of Atari Lynx games that go for $100 alone but even if you collect the Lynx having an all in one solution for games on a portable system is pretty convenient plus being able to play numerous Lynx homebrew games out there is pretty cool too. So that's it for this video on the game drive for the Atari Lynx. Let me know what you think about this. Are you interested in the Lynx gaming system now that there's an easy way to play or do you want to collect the real Lynx games instead? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a like and share with anybody who might find it interesting. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Snicktendo. And if you're new here, you can check out my other videos and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Super Nintendo, and I'll see you next time.